I'm here at the Marsha Arbor International Airport with all the uh, the political fellas and I just this is one of the this is the best video this is the best video I did um, all week all week all week um, because we got Minister Says here and I'm so happy that Minister Says did what all ministers should should do spend some time in Abaco because we are still at ground zero uh, the FNM government fixed no infrastructure. Uh, the biggest thing in Abaco was customs. They put nothing towards fixing customs. But I'm so proud uh, to have Minister Sayers right here beside me because he showed some love to Abaconians and Abaco by spending three whole days here to particularly look at the infrastructure and to give us input. He didn't wait to have it from anybody else, but three days was huge for his ministry to come and spend this quality time on Abaco when our last member parliaments didn't spend no day, especially three days, looking at nothing after the hurricane. So I want to personally thank our uh, minister says and anything that Kai Mills could do to make his ministry wake, I am in there because I recognize if the PLP fail, Abaco fail. Just like the FNM failed us, they fail. So in order for us to get back to some normalcy, we have to put our politics and our indifferences aside and all collectively try to get Abaco back. I just want to say thank you, uh, Brother Sayers, for coming and spending such quality time with us. Well, thank you, Kai. Um, this has been a very informative um, review of the public infrastructure uh, in Abaco. Uh, the three days I was accompanied um, by the director and uh, the deputy uh, directors, also the chief engineer. And um, we, I just want to say thank you to the local Ministry of Work staff. And also, you know, I have to give a shout out for BPL and Water and Sewage. I also visited uh, the facilities there. I want to thank the contractors, um, the bridge that's being uh, finished now to connect uh, Little Abaco. What a magnificent uh, piece of work and so vital to the community. We visited um, the docks in the north, the south, and also central uh, Abaco. These docks are important because these docks uh, support the local economy of Abaco, the fishing communities, um, commercial fishing persons. They use these docks. The docks bring in uh, supply for the community, and we will give priority to the repair of uh, the docks throughout Abaco. I also went to the dock um, at Crossing, at, um, Crossing Beach. Re, well, at, at, at um, Crossing Rocks. I, Crossing Rocks, okay. Yes, um, they have a dock there uh, that the fishermen use uh, right. called Cross, Crossing Rock um, Dock. You were, um, you were old in the boys. I, I went to <laughs> 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 I also uh, visited uh, the Keys. Um, last week I um, was in Moores Island. Uh, this trip, uh, we went to uh, Green Turtle Key. Uh, we went to Elbow Key. Um, we were in Hopetown. Um, we visited and saw the extraordinary work uh, that's being done and also the partnership uh, throughout Abaco of the NGOs that have, have and are still on the ground contributing to the restoration work. We are grateful to these partners and I just want to say to the people of Abaco, you are a critical part of the national project. This is the third largest economy in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. It is a very diverse uh, group of uh, communities. You also play a key role in our fishing and marit 
uh, marine uh, product uh, sector and the fishing community which is generations of skill and knowledge um, we want to get you back and uh, get this economy booming not for foreigners but first and foremost we welcome foreign investment but first and foremost are the Bahamian people in Abaco. We have to secure our people. I, I, I also want to say that the generosity of so many Abaconians who welcome family members, friends who had lost their homes, the churches, the civic organization, um, and basically enable uh, everyone to recover as rapidly as possible. On our part, we will give priority to the restoration of the infrastructure, not just restoration, but we, must, we will build back stronger because we know hurricanes are coming again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate your quality time. And one thing, Minister, uh, you talk about the staff here. I don't know why it is that every time the government change, they have to bring somebody foreign um, in charge of the government department. Has but time that we mature enough to find a Bahamian that is capable of moving uh, to that post and also to give them the same um, treatment that they give the foreigners. Um, I want you to speak to that, and I want you to understand that the staff in Abaco is not at all at, at please uh, what's going on. They can't even get a computer to work with. But of course, you were here and you spoke with them, so I know you're going to work with them to try to stop this cancer and try to promote our people. Well, this, when, when, I, when we met with the staff, the staff, um, they... They, they shared their heart with us, and you 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 could you could feel the pain of and the trauma that uh, these colleagues have undergone um, through this hurricane, and they did express disappointment that the ministry has um, not been as responsive as the ministry ought to have been and that um, equipment which was lost, vehicles uh, which were lost, are yet to be repaired. And therefore, it's, an order, it's, it's a priority for me as I go back uh, to ensure that um, the tools are provided to do the best work possible. In addition, I know there are also uh, what, I, what we call human resource issues. We have people who are working and have been working for many years, have not been uh, promoted. Uh, we have persons who uh, on the, came in through local government, but working um, with uh, the Ministry of Works, doing the same job as Ministry of Work uh, employees, but are being paid less, yeah. with less benefits. We are going to correct that. Thank you, Minister. Um, and only you could get this kind of uh, coverage on WCAY. I feel honored that I could be in uh, such company. I just wish that I could speak as, as, as softly as the Minister, but I'm a thoroughbred. I can't do it, but I just love to hear him speak so quietly and at ease. If Kai could speak like that, I'm on my way to heaven. Cause <laughs> but I just, want, I just want to thank the minister uh, uh, for being here. Uh, we got all the other people there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, my brother here, Mat Matthew, say hi. Matthew, go on back the way. Hi, Matthew. Uh, but I'm here with my member, Parliament, Kirk. And I just am um, glad to have Kirk and the minister here. And uh, we have so much work, and I just want to say uh, on the record, Whatever I could do to have Kirk um, to be successful um, in his term as Member of Parliament, Kai is willing to put 110% behind my Member of Parliament, Kirk. Thank you so much, Mr. Mills. I do appreciate that. And um, there's so much work to do here. Uh, one man can't do it. And I'm here and I'm um, 
officially, um, this isn't the first time I'm reaching out to Kirk. Um, this is the third, fourth time, and I really want to make sure that Kirk is successful because Kurt successful, Abaco is successful. So yeah. thank you guys. I just want to say thank you, Minister. Yeah, man. Blessings, man. Uh, and thank you for th your th thank you, Kirk. Thank you, three days, three days on the on the job. Thank you, thank yes. you guys. Thank you. Uh, we got the fellow right there. I I would love one day to see one of y'all um, in charge of Ministry of Wakes, a Bohemian. That's what I want to see. Um, Donald, Donald is in charge. Um, Donald is my friend. It's my good friend Donald. I want to make sure Donald getting ready for election, and everybody is here, and it's a good reunion to see all my rowdy friends are here trying to make Abaco great again. Thank you, thank you. Kai still cares. You're here only on WCAY because Kai cares.